Peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner boxing 24. Good evening. How's everyone doing today? Hope everybody's doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good as always. God is great. God is good. And I definitely can't complain. So as you see this smile on my face, we got some good, good news in the boxing world today. It looks like we might be getting a fight between Shakur Stevenson and Frank the Ghost Martin. They both have agreed to a fight and it looks like the fight will be either November in Vegas or December 9th in New York and will be televised on ESPN. So we're looking at November 16th in Vegas or December 9th in New York between Shakur Stevenson, who just made his way to the 135 pound division, which is basically super lightweight. And he is 20 and over 10 KOs. And Frank the Ghost Martin is 18 and over 12 KOs. So this is gonna be a hell of a fight, man. You know, you got Shakur Stevenson, who's a great counter puncher, great defensive fighter, knows how to control distance, great footwork, all around ring generalship, ring IQ against the ghost who has good power, speed, good footwork, knows the ring as well, good ring IQ. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Um, I'm going with Shakur on the fight, you know. I think Shakur is a notch above. No disrespect to Frank Martin, because he is who he is. I mean, Frank Martin made a believer out of me when he beat Michelle Rivera. I thought Michelle Rivera was going to, that's one prediction that I was wrong about. I'm not wrong on too many predictions, no arrogance. I usually make the right call, but Michelle Rivera, he showed me something with Michelle Rivera, so I'm definitely not counting him out, because the boy got the goods. But Shakur is just on another level, you know? But I want to know what y'all think, the fans, the subscribers, about Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin. According to the reports, it was the fight was supposed to go to purse bid today, earlier today. So uh, we'll see what happens with that, and we'll stay in tune with it, and we'll keep reporting as, you know, information comes out. But they have agreed to fight each other. And it just makes sense because nobody wants to fight Shakur. He's been turned down by Cambosis, by Isaac Cruz, Zepeda. Like, nobody wants to fight him at 135. And Frank Martin is not running, running from it. You know what I'm saying? He's willing to put it on the line. So, you know, Shakur been trying to get Devin Haney. He don't mind fighting Tank, but that's a real big, big fight. So, you know, maybe that's being held off for a reason. I don't know. But, um, hey, man, we got to fight, though, right? We, we, that's, that's what we into boxing for. We're not into boxing to just be sitting around or working out and sparring and training not to get into the real fight. Otherwise, we wouldn't be boxers, right? Boxers box. Fighters fight. And so if we just fighting once a year, once every two years, what are we doing? We're not fighting, man. We got to get back to them old days where them fighters, man, like Mike Tyson was fighting every month, more than once a month. You know, I'm not saying it's going to get back like that, but at least, at least two times a year, man. At least that. You know what I'm saying? That should be the minimum, two times a year for fighters on the real, unless they got a major, major injury and can't fight, but once a year, once every 18 months and two years, some of this crap that's going on, that's not boxing, man. So we got to get that boxing back where the minimum is, well, maybe you can even say the minimum is once a year, but definitely no less, but definitely no once every two years, once every 18 months, okay? Maybe a minimum of one a year, but I would say two, man, honestly. I would say two, man, because you got 12 months, man. If you fight in March, you fight in January, February, or March, 
Why you can't fight again in September, October, November? You got time. You got a couple of months to rest up. And you got a couple of months to get back in camp. Like, come on, man. You got a few months, actually. Like, that's how it should go. You fight on the beginning part of the year. You can fight on the tail end. However you want to do it. But fight twice a year. So I'm excited for this fight, man. Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin. You know, it's going to be a good one, man. Boxing is... Is, is doing this thing, man. It's recovering. It's picking back up from the COVID. You know, I remember when the COVID, man, you know, you, you, you watched the fight and it was like it wasn't the same. I mean, it was okay for me because I, I got the TV, but if you was at the fight, well, you couldn't be at the fight during the COVID in 2020, 2021. There was nobody there. It wasn't allowing nobody in, so it was just, it was different. But now, man, 21, 22, done picked back up. 23, now we here. You know, we had the biggest fight that we could have ever imagined with Bud Crawford and Spence. And now, man, we got Charlo and, and, and uh, Canelo. And now we got, just got this announced, man. So we can't ask for more than that, man. We, we, you know, boxing is definitely rebounding and picking back up. So peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner, Boxing 24. Peace of God to the page. Please leave a comments. Let me know how you feel. Um, everybody, enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace.